Hi, welcome to all of you. This is the second episode of our Balsamino build. Uh, in this episode, we start from priming the lure in the white color. I'm adding the leveling thinner to my airbrush chamber, to which I will mix my white base color paint. And after that, we're gonna spray the whole lure blank white. Okay guys, so it's already painted with the white primer, but as you could see, can see right now, now it's actually visible how uneven, not the focus, how uneven actually the sanding part was. And this is this is done intentionally. Obviously you can sand the balsa quite smooth before priming it with uh, sealing it with super glue but the rougher the, the surface uh, the more the super glue gonna penetrate inside and harden the, the wood so this is done intentionally but obviously if I would now continue to, to paint the lure on that surface the result wouldn't be very very fine somebody uh, do not wish to have like really perfect paint job you can go ahead already paint this lure right now and it still will catch you a fish I'm like perfectionist I like to have it everything tip top as much quality as possible so I will continue with the harder steps to improve the, the super smooth surface and then I will start with my paint now I will mix on my epoxy I have in the syringe already part A uh, for one lure I'm generally using a 0.6 gram of part A and my epoxy needs to be mixed uh, in the one 2 to 1 ratio so after measuring 0.6 gram of part A I will add 0.3 gram of part B this obviously you will adjust it your own uh, lure size or the amount of lures that you want to epoxy in one go this is the part B the hardener I will zero the scale and add 0.3 gram There you have it, nice and precise. Now we will mix it slowly but firmly for at least one or two minutes. The epoxy, of course, I'll speed up all the process here. And now I show you my little tip how to make this cheap, super cheap but still good quality disposable brush. So you need like a little piece of balsa or any other stick, uh, ice cream stick, it's also fine. The big brush for the painting walls, try to find one with the good quality. Anyway, out of one brush of this size, you'll be able to make at least 70 or 80 small brushes. So choose one with the good, nice, uh, flexible fibers. Uh, chop a little a little clump of the of the hair now additionally well you can use it as is already but you know my OCD I'm paranoid 
So I'll just put all of it to the stacker. Whoever does fly tying know what this tool is. It's to align the tips of the fibers. And so now they are perfectly aligned almost. And now they are perfectly aligned as you can see. So transfer this to your second hand. Hold it like that, remove steel, if there are any loose fibers, you can remove them. And now take a piece of electric tape. Electric tape works best, but any other, other tape probably will work good as well. And first, um, striping all the clump of the, of the fibers together squishing them so there is no loose fibers remove any sticking uh, funny way fibers and then you glue all of it into this stick that you will use and uh, it won't be visible here but once obviously it's done you just need to unglue it throw the the hard part that the epoxy is already hardened away and just do another one reusing the same stick so no worry the sticks you don't need to replace it and this again pull a few loose fibers you don't want them to go onto your lure as you can see this is nice flexible and ready for epoxy job so let's go upstairs and epoxy this lure blank okay guys i'll just hold you in the hand and i will apply the epoxy This will be spinning. So yeah, that's how it works. You've seen it anyway on the other video when I was making the hooks. So that's yeah. I will now apply the second side. Let it spin and for at least six hours, and then we'll be good uh, to put our first layer of paint. Okay, second, well it's still the same day actually, but it's after the first layer of epoxy. As you can see now, the lure is totally smooth. I might not really be able to see it. I don't want to focus, but anyways, the lure is nice and smooth. What we're gonna do right now is to Repeat the white color on the belly as the seam is still visible. It is not fillable, completely smooth from the epoxy. And obviously it is visible. Since the belly will be orange, it would show through. So we're still gonna go a little layer of white on the belly. And then we're gonna put our base layers and another coat of epoxy. There's not gonna be much interesting painting still at that stage but before adding any stencil and that's what it's gonna be before the final layer of the paint there will be stencil applied I like to have the one mid coat of epoxy for two reasons first one gives give more depth between the base color and the top color that is uh, done with the stencil like more 3d effect since there is like a well what would you say 0.1 millimeter gap maybe of the epoxy layer 
And the second thing, you don't risk it that you scratch it anything in terms of the under layer, the base layer, you scratch it with the little clips that you will be attaching the stencil to. This will be a mesh stencil, so either way the mesh can uh, scratch some paint if it is uh, too tight and obviously tighter you put it, the better the quality of the, of the paint underneath and also you can with, uh, with these little alligator clips or this uh, you can scratch it on the belly once you're clipping the mesh so in order to prevent that I'm always putting the additional layer of epoxy between the base coat and the final coat of the paint so of course optional is extending the, the time obviously that you spend painting the lure but that's what I'm doing so anyways without further ado the white on the belly first and then we go with the crazy fluo colors because this will be quite high vis lure in the, in the end And there you have it guys, little steel picture and the final lure. The colors are really bright already, even though this is only the base layer. 
so it is not showing that well in the camera but now I will uh, go and put the final layer of epoxy on it then we will be ready for the next episode so this pretty much concludes the episode if you guys stick until this time thank you very much for watching if you like the video please put the thumbs up you can subscribe to the channel and press the notification bell if you wish uh, you will be notified when the next part will come out thank you again for watching and i see you next week on the last episode of this video